When it comes to my hair care, I need products that help protect my hair while keeping it looking and feeling healthy. Tangle Tisa has always been a brand that I go to and has added another valuable quality to the mix, sustainability. With a new plant brush, it ticks all of my hair care boxes. The new plant brush is made from plant-based material and is good if you're looking for a sustainable option or alternative to your original Tangle Teaser. It still has the unique two-tiered teeth to detangle while reducing hair breakage and it detangles just as well as the old one. Did you know that you can recycle your old Tangle Teaser for a discount on the new one? Make sure you click the link in the description box to get your hands on your own Tangle Teaser plant brush, especially if you want smooth and healthy looking hair. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to share with you some of my tips though, just to, you know, help you prevent breakage or, you know, if you are having breakage, you can start like a whole um, hair care routine and bear these tips in mind. I like how everything's going to match matchy today. Super beige. I'm wearing my favorite cardigan. I love this cardigan, it's so cozy. I've literally been wearing it with a whole bunch of, you know, outfits. It's kind of like my most worn piece at the moment because it goes with everything. I can wear it over a t-shirt and pair of jeans. I can wear it with, with a dress and heels. Uh, but my most favorite way to wear it at the moment is just with like a simple dress, some trainers and um, a satchel. I have a beige satchel, which I bought around the same time which I've been wearing with it a lot. It's very small and it has like a few things I need for the day when I want to do my runarounds very quickly. My keys, you know, the essentials and stuff. And I just love, love, love the color. And it goes with my trainers. So every time I put those trainers on, I just pick the bag up because it just, it's just perfect. It goes really well with it. Right, before I do any makeup, I really do like to go in and take care of my skin. Just so I know that the canvas that I'm working with it's healthy, looks and feels good. So that's before I touch my face with any makeup. I just like to make sure that that is all taken care of. I think I might just keep the whole look super neutral, super natural. Usually when I'm running around, I tend to just go with my SPF all over my face and then that's it, I'm done. Um, and then um, if I'm going for an occasion or a meeting, or like an event, then I really go in with the makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you my eight tips to prevent hair breakage. I have it all listed down in my little notebook over here. <laughs> so my number one tip to prevent hair breakage is to tie your ponytail in different areas. Um, I had a really bad habit of always wearing my ponytail at the top of my head, and then I noticed some breakage with the hair on there, and so I started switching up my ponies. So I'd put it on my lower, lower by the neck, or to the side, or I started doing two bunchies actually. Those are really cute. But I always made sure that if I was going to wear ponies throughout, for like a week to two week t uh, period of time. Uh, I make sure that I switch the pony position just so that the hair doesn't get too snagged with my hair tie and break. Another thing is to part your hair in different places. I'm so used to parting my hair on the left side because that is my favorite side. I feel like my left side is like my nice side and my right side is like my serious side. So I always pose with pictures like with this side if you know if you noticed and usually if I have a side parting it's there. That's my favorite side to part it on but I noticed also that that actually causes breakage around the hairline area because you're also pulling at the hair when you have it in a pony so then I started swapping my parting areas and I started to do more middle partings and more the other side partings and just in general having a balance between my left side my right side and middle just so that the hair is not pulling too much on one side and causing it to break this is a really good one I started alternating between a moisturizing conditioner and a um, strengthening conditioner just because I know that with moisturizing conditioners they're really like formulated to help hydrate the hair they have a lot more oils and they have a uh, hu uh, humectants and stuff and then the strengthening conditioners they tend to have more protein so it's really good to strengthen the hair but I feel like if you use too much of the protein one that does break your hair because there's, there's no moisture and then if you use too much of the moisturizing one that makes your hair too like elastic -y. so this next one is really good because I think it's very easy to forget that you know when you wash your face every day you are also um, washing your hairline and if you have a hairline like mine I have a widow's peak so my hairline comes all the way into my forehead I can't help not washing my hair 
when I wash my face and I realized that that actually dries out the hair in my hairline and causes the hairline to break so what I started doing is I just apply a tiny bit of leave-in conditioner after I've washed my face just on the hair the edges a bit more just to give it a moisturized feel and also if any like natural oils have been stripped from face washing I just pop that back on with some leave-in conditioner and literally that's a quick fix it really helps every now and again and so that the area around there doesn't get dry and um, break number five is tie a scarf or wear a bonnet when you're going to sleep just so that your hair doesn't snag on the pillow doesn't break on the pillow and also you don't get like pesky hair oils on your skin so you can actually protect your skin it's like killing two birds with one stone you protect your hair and you also protect your skin so I would definitely recommend tying your hair or wearing a bonnet before you go to sleep number six have your hair treated by a professional uh, maybe every six to eight weeks it really depends on what you have done at the salon so some people do relaxers some people do um, other chemical treatments like the hair dyes um, like blowouts and things like that but it's always good to give your hair a bit of a pick-me-up with a professional because they always know what you're missing they inject all kinds of amazing things into your hair and it kind of makes you feel good as well because you know that you're checking in with the hairdresser every two months and your hair is going to be looking and feeling fresh number seven apply castor oil to your scalp i like to do this a day before wash day just so that it can like blend into my scalp and i also like to do this on my eyebrows as well and my eyelashes because castor oil is such an amazing product and it helps with hair growth i've tried it tested it i've been using that method for years and years and years and whenever i feel like my hair needs a bit of like a boost in area in any area it needs like you know some growth i just apply some of that on and i'm good to go number eight uh try protective styles so like braids weave-ons wigs i like my wigs because then i can just moisturize my hair put on a wig cap and then put a wig on and if my hair is really protected underneath and then i can do all the styling in the world to the wigs and still keep my hair protected so that's a really good one okay so that's it for my top tips on you know preventing hair breakage i hope you try them out if you have any more please leave a comment down below and definitely check out the tangle teaser plant brush which i'll leave a link in the description bar it's a very very good brush i definitely recommend it and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye